I took Chloe's temperature today and birth is going to be happening soon. It's now 11am. Chloe is very restless and doesn't really want to be in her whelping box. She wants to go around the garden digging holes and restlessly trying to find the nest that suits her. But I've got her in her whelping box now because I want to keep a close eye on her. It's now 3.40 and you can see that we've had 10 minutes between the first two puppies and then between the second and third puppy were an hour and 25 minutes so I got a little concerned about that and then only 40 minutes for the next pup the fifth pup was born 35 minutes after that and now it's been another 50 minutes um, time has elapsed between pup number five and pup number six all is progressing perfectly and the uterus is now almost empty so you can very clearly see it through the abdominal wall Tracting away there. Start to see a bigger bulge at the vulva now. It's coming down the birth canal, there it goes. Just clear its nose and mouth. Just peel away the membrane. There we go. Here's its placenta. Chloe's eating away there. Seems to know exactly the right place to chew it off. These are the pups, 24 hours old. They're all doing very well. I've given Chloe a bath. I've changed her bedding twice. You can see the old bedding here. That's very normal to see black, green and bloody discharge for several days after birth. Chloe's feeling very well. She's been for a walk this morning as she went yesterday too, just before she had her pups. And she was looking forward to that. She's enjoying her exercise. She's eating and drinking well. And there's no problems at this stage.